Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.10 from Sadiku book. So the question is find I0. I0 here, I0 is here in the circuit of figure 3.59. This is the figure. Okay, maybe let's use nodal analysis and let's let's name our nodes here as node A and then this node here as node B and this node here as node C. So we need to do KCL at node A, node B, and node C. Let's do KCL first at node A. At node A. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay. Uh, let's assume the direction of the current. So I want all of that going down. And this, I want this to going to the right. Okay, at not A, there is no current that goes in, so I just put zero there. All the other currents is going out, so we'll have PA here divided by 8 because I want this as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. So we'll have PA minus zero divided by 8, so that will be PA over 8. And then plus this current here that will be for ampere you can, you can just plug for and then plus pa minus vc divided by one so we'll have pa minus vc divided by one okay maybe we can simplify this equation by multiplying both sides to a right and maybe put zero on the right hand side so we will have PA here and then plus 32 and then plus 8 PA then minus 8 VC that should be equal to 0 and then I will have 32 plus 9 VA minus 8 VC is equal to 0 or 9 VA minus 8 vc yeah 8 vc that will equal to minus 32 okay and i think i will just start at node c here because i think we can just use it to solve for va and vc maybe let's just use kcl at node c KCL at node C. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, there are two currents that goes in, which is this one and that one. Okay, for this one, that will be VA minus VC divided by 1. And then this one here, which is 2i0. So I'll have 2i0. But i0 is Pa over 8. Let's just plug that in. So we'll have Pa over 8. And then this one, I will have Vc divided by 4. So we'll have Vc divided by 4. All of that will equal to 0. No. Oh. This, this should be equal. No, 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 no. So this is the current that goes in. It's equal to the current that goes out. So Vc over 4 is going out. So we'll have the equal sign here. Okay. Maybe let's cancel this out. So 2 and 8 will become 4. So to make it easy, I multiply both sides by 4. Okay, now what can we get from here? So we'll have 4VA minus 4VC plus VA equal to VC. Or that means that I will have 5VA is equal to 5VC. That means that VA and VC is equal. Wow. If VA and VC is equal, we can substitute that 
into this one here. So we will have 9PA minus 8PA is equal to minus 32. That means that our PA will be minus 32 volt. Okay, if our VA is minus 32 volt, we can calculate I0. What is I0? I0 is VA divided by 8. So we will have minus 32 divided by 8. So I will have I0 is equal to minus 4 ampere. And that is the final answer of this problem. I0 is minus 4. If I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Okay, that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.